Hi, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about self-care. So when we are practicing self-care, we, we, um, we tend to listen to what others do to, to take care of themselves and sometimes we don't actually stop to find out who we are. What is it that drives you? So in doing so, I wanted to talk to you about the drama triangle. Um, so there's, there's a cycle that a lot of us tend to fall into. And in the drama triangle, you can either be the victim, the persecutor, or the rescuer. And a lot of times, we tend to find ourselves in this cycle. And it's a very unhealthy cycle. And when you feel as though you're the victim, you're going to look for somebody to rescue you. That could become complaining. That can turn into a tub of ice cream. So when we step into our power and we find out who we are and we shift this to a healthier cycle, we can turn to the empowerment dynamic. As the empowerment dynamic, your three options are the role of the conscious creator, the, um, the coach, and the challenger. And this is just a simple perspective shift. So when we choose to make this perspective shift, we are stepping into the role of who we are. We're taking better care of ourselves. So why, why would somebody want to make this shift? Why would you want to go from something that's so simple and work so hard to do a different pattern in your life? So this is where it comes back to self-care. So to be able to be the best mother, the best father, the best employee that you can possibly be, you need to know who you are. And you might hear, I am a child of God. And that is absolutely true. And as a child of God, that gives you everything that you need to know about who you are. But still, what drives you? So as a conscious creator, you step out of this, this victim role. And as the victim, you are problem focused. And when you're focusing on the problem, you're going to point out what's wrong. And this is going to cause others to feel as though they're being victimized. But if we step into the role of the conscious creator, we are vision focused and passion motivated. So if you're going to be vision focused and passion motivated, you got to know who you are. You have to be passionate about who you are. You need to know where you're going. So we, we set up a vision board. And we figure out exactly what do I want. But you know what? I found myself in this place about three years ago, going through these steps, saying, well, what do I want? What am I passionate about? And I could not answer that question. So I took a little bit of time to myself. I took some time to figure out what is it that drives me. And at that time, I had already switched over to a vegan diet. And I'd been cloth diapering my child. And, and I was doing the whole crunchy, hippie mom type of style that's, that's um, rather modern right now. And I, I took some of my talents, and I love to sew. And so I began sewing reusable products. I started sewing diapers and, and sandwich baggies and shower caps and trash bags. And, and this brought me a lot of joy, so I started participating in craft fairs. And the craft fairs were at the farmer's market. So I started asking all the different farmers, you know what, I've never been good at gardening. Teach me, help me to know how to do this. <laughs> Every time I plant anything, it dies. And so the farmers started giving me tips and offering me a little bit of assistance to know how to do this. So I started gardening. And the more I gardened, the more that I connected with the earth and I felt as though I was making a difference. And so here, I took these steps to eat better, take better care of myself, take better care of the animals, and to be able to reduce the waste in the landfills and, and to reduce the plastic. And, and I go out and I kayak and I connect with the earth and, and I realized, you know what? This is what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about this planet. I'm passionate about making a difference in the world. This is my self-care. So the more that I took care of myself, the more I was able to love myself, the more I was able to love others. The better, the better of a mother I was, the better that I was able to progress in this world. I was able to step out of this, this drama triangle and I was able to step into my role of a conscious creator because I knew what I wanted. I knew where I was going and 
I know how to get there. And I was able to set out the map and the plan and the course of my life and, and really drive myself to make these changes. And the more that I can focus on what I want, whenever there is contention in my life, I can stop and say, you know what, is this the truth? Is this the truth about me? If someone says something hurtful, damaging and harmful to me, I can stop and offer myself love. Say, you know what, I know it's not true. I know that's not the truth about me, so it doesn't hurt. So I'm not gonna fall into this victim cycle any longer. And in fact, I know how valuable I am and I know what I deserve. And I just wanted to share this with you as this is something that I feel has been a struggle for pretty much anyone I've ever met. And this was my breakthrough. So I wanted to share my breakthrough and I wanted to offer you love. I love you.